Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kathy C, bringing you back another video. And today it's another speed draw, but this time I'm going to be drawing a fan art. I've never actually done an actual fan art. I've doodled here and again, but I don't know. I just, I've always been kind of frustrated with fan arts, and it's just like I can... I just want to make them good, and then every time I tr like try starting one, I never actually... I don't know, I just get frustrated myself when I never finish it. But this one I did. Um, it's not the best. I've seen... A s a lot of really good fan arts um, of the Aloha starter Pokemon and I just decided to do this one but add my own little twist to it by the end of it it's gonna be kind of like a kind of like my mandala drawings but like with a lot of detail and stuff kind of like my own take on it so that's the drawing while I was actually drawing this piece in particular halfway through it I got really really frustrated and it that in turn took me about like two two weeks to actually finish it not because it was hard to draw because it w i just got kind of frustrated i feel like i kind of rushed into it to begin with as you can see i just I, I had no prior planning before i started drawing it i didn't do any like thumbnails or i didn't like try to like plan out the composition beforehand which i think it kind of suffered because now that i think about it if, if i would have drawn you being able to see each character fully not just cut off like what you see here some parts of the characters are cut off. I feel like it would have just been way better. And I don't know. I think I could have, like in the long run, it would have just benefited more, and you could have. I could have done more with it. I could have like vector, but like it could have been like stickers and like a, a vector sticker and stuff like that. But I don't know. I might do that in the future. I've, I've been watching a lot of Holly Brown and just love her, and it makes me want to actually like start on actual projects, not just talk about them. <laughs> As to why I chose Pokemon, it's just, I don't know, uh, I decided to draw it, and I was, oh, I, I've always loved, 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 loved Pokemon, ever since I was, I can remember, I loved watching, I remember watching the Kanto region episodes with uh, Ash, Misty, and Brock, and then I would still watch the anime throughout, um, while it was still airing throughout the different regions, but, um, you know, less and less, because I just, like, st I stopped watching TV as I got older, but, um, most of the time, I, I played most of the games, too. Um, it's funny, <laughs> because I have this thing where if I play one game, then the next game that comes out... If I play one game that comes out, and the next game that that continues after that one, I, I won't get. But then I'll get the one after that, and it's just like, I'll start, stop, start. I, I'll get it, then I won't get it, I'll get it, then I won't get it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That cycle actually broke right now, because the last new, the newest pokemon game that i played was x and y i finished that and uh i did a bunch i have a bunch of stuff on that file actually i i think that i left off shiny hunting for or shiny breeding for a, a shiny eevee i think and i got like, like maybe like 200 eggs in, into it actually so and i never got a shiny by the way <laughs> i just stopped middle through uh breeding that so and i never i didn't get I didn't get Omega Ruby or Sapphire, and I haven't played Sun and Moon yet, so that's kind of disappointing. But I know, I know if I play it, I'm gonna enjoy it. I just haven't gotten around to doing it because I'm a very like goal-oriented person. Not even I'm just like I'm both goal like lazy and goal-oriented. And what I mean by that is, I know I'm just I'm, I keep making excuses why not to play the game because I know if I do play the game, I'm just gonna keep wanting to play it. And I'm just, it's just gonna consume me, and I just. <laughs> and this year, I want to really focus on like getting myself out there. And if I were to play a game, I know if I would just feel guilty if I were to play a game and then feel bad about myself, like oh, I'm playing this game. Like I could be drawing. Like why am I? Why aren't I'm doing something more productive with my time than play a game? But um, that's just my take on it. I know that's not really that really doesn't matter. It's like you know, if you're gonna play a game, just play a game. But, um, I'm weird like that, so. And I don't, I don't know any, I really don't know, maybe I know, like, one or two names, but I really don't know much of any, I don't know any of the Pokemon in the Lolo region. Really, I, I, I don't know much about it, besides, I kept up with the leaks before it actually came out, before it aired. And I can recognize the Pokemon, because I... I know all the Pokemon previous to this generation, but I won't know their names and I won't know their types and I won't know any about anything about them really. 
I only ever remembered like I didn't even know like these Pokemon's characters names honestly all I, all I remembered was Primarina like that's the, the because I don't know it's like I it's, it's funny though because I love uh, I love all of their like designs I think I think they all look really cool I think they designed them all well especially the um, owl owl grass type slash I know he's a grass slash like ghost type and I don't know I just I, I if I if I were to play I definitely choose him I just lo loved I loved him. I, I kept seeing fan art of him, and I just kept loving it, like how he looked. And I'll put, oh, if I do play the game, I'll, I'll definitely choose. It. I usually choose the grass Pokemon anyway. But when uh, I remember when they first uh, released the images, when they were like, uh, like their first form, their first evolution, I thought they all looked uh, really cool. But I was thinking about getting the fire type, um, Litten. Because it's like the uh, Kathy cat, you know, like I love cats, like uh, that's like kind of my thing. So I'm just like, oh, I might get the fire type this time. But then uh, they kept like after like the final evolutions re release, I'm like, oh crap, I don't know what to get now because they all look really good. But if I if I were to play the game, I would get D Duo. No, that's not his name. Did Did Low or something like that. It's with a D. You know, people are probably gonna get really mad at me, but. Uh, I don't care. And then the middle one, I think, is an inc incinerator. No, it, it sounds like that. Something. Incinerator. I'm probably like, I'm gonna look back at this video and I'm gonna play the game and be like, you dumbass. <laughs> like, oh, like I can't. I can't. So cringe. I didn't know the names. But that's that. And ah, uh, I do want to get more into fan art because I feel like people like mo notice you more through fan art. And I, I think that I know that's kind of cynical to think, but it's like, um. You know, no one's gonna kind of notice my like my original artwork. So, and I I enjoy I enjoy drawing fan art. So it's funny I say that, but like I posted this. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would have already seen this. And I posted it on my Snapchat, and I need to get better at that. It's like um, I don't really like the photo of it that I posted on Snapchat, but I, I it's, it's when I had just figured out how to like put Photoshop documents in like in the Snapchat format, like the this perfect square. And it's just like, it's not the best quality, and it's just like, but I put it on there to like, to put it on there, I'm like, oh, oh well. And it's just like, yeah, like, 14 likes, it was horrible. And like most of my, most of my photos get like, 40 likes, I'm not really big at all. But I, I just remember getting frost so frustrated at this piece, I was just like, oh, it looks, it look, I like, I really wish I had planned out before I actually started like, putting in the detail work inside of each character, because I, I can do that with my nor normal like mandala work, my normal design like intricate circle pieces. I can do that with that because it's like no matter what I do, it's most of the time it's gonna come out good. I don't really, I've never really done one that where it's like oh this is horrible and like it looks so bad. They usually all come out like at least decent, but this one is just like I really sh I, like as soon as like I got through most of the first one, I was just like oh I really should have like plan this out more <laughs> like it would have I feel like it would have looked so much better if I planned out planning this drawing out more but oh well I'm actually really like that well I'll get to that later but but yeah I feel like it just could have turned out better even though I'm kind of I, I like how the end I like how this ended and I'm gonna talk about that right now um you know it, this drawing took way longer than it should have and I just kept pa I s just kept pausing throughout the entire drawing is just like it was just so like I kept taking breaks I kept like not wanting to work on it and it was just like uh, I don't want, really don't want to work but I I pushed through it I'm like okay well, just just finish it just, just you put all this time into it just finish it and I usually don't do that I usually just like give up but I'm it's just like I want to I want to build the habit where I finish things I'm just like okay finish it and you know I, I trucked along through it I, I forced myself to finish and I like I like uh, I liked how I did that. You know, I, I encourage everyone to do that. And because you never know how it's gonna turn out in the end, you know, and unless you actually finish it. So I took the time on it and then kind of planned out as I was going. I, I planned out as much as I I could have on it while I was doing it. That's a, that's, a, that's another thing. When I'm doing my normal mandala work, I can just like uh, I can just start it and I can just like oh this would look good and this would look good and this would. Look good. I did that with this, and it turned out like it totally backfired on me. <laughs> it was just like, oh, if I had like that, and you can see it right here. It's like I, I was like getting so I was getting really frustrated when I started on uh, Pre Marina. It was just so like I kept 
forgetting like I kept like drawing outside the character when I wasn't like that's not what I was going for and it's just like I kept messing up and I had to use like the white white out as you can see that I did and I was just getting more and more I'm like oh this is looking oh, horrible horrible but I kept and I just kept getting more frustrated and I'm like I didn't know what I was gonna do and when I put it into Photoshop you can see I did like a bunch of corrections that would have saved me time if I had just planned it out and drew it out the way I wanted it in the original sketch the original traditional sketch before I actually started on the detail work and finished the the general outline of them when I finished the general inking of the characters themselves I'm like I wasn't really I I wasn't really too keen on the poses I ch chose either I just chose common poses that I always see them in and that's another thing I really need to work on it's just like uh, I need to like actually make different poses for if I'm doing fan art, I need to like be creative with it and not just like put them. But I decided to do it like this anyway, just to make it easy. Yeah, I thought they came out kind of stiff, and I wasn't too much of a fan of that. And then when I went into Photoshop, it's like oh, I kind of struggled with. It. Like I need to, <laughs> I need to learn Photoshop like better. I know Photoshop already. I think I have a decent understanding of the program, but it's just like I feel like I'm just making. I need to like learn better shortcuts. Like you probably see right in the video. And you'll probably see me, some of you probably like pounding your head on the table. It's just like, oh, you could have done this and this instead of doing all this, what you did. And uh, you're probably right. <laughs> and I kind of illustrated, it gave me a hard time too. My whole plan was this, was that I was going to like turn it into like a vector image so that people could like post it like in different like areas. I, I just wanted it to be a vector image so it came out more smoothly and clearly. Like I, I said before, I've been watching a lot of Holly Brown, and that's what she does with her, her comics. She vectorizes them. I think I heard that in one of her videos, so that's what I wanted to do with this. Because I know very little. I've, like, I've, I kind of know something about Illustrator, but not really. I, I designed a shirt one time for my my high school key club, because I was, like, I was in key club, and they just, they wanted me to design something for the shirt, which I did. And I used Illustrator for that, and I was just, I only know as much as... I needed to for that t-shirt design. That was a very long time ago and I don't remember much of the stuff that I learned so I need to brush up on that. But yeah that's about it for the drawing. I'm, I'm glad I stuck to it. I think I'm, I'm I, I was actually really really happy with the with the end result and I thought I was kind of pr uh, proud of myself that I was able to stick to the drawing and keep up with it so. If you guys want to see more of my work like when it's not on YouTube because I know I kind of like fell off the wagon when I said I was gonna. No, I didn't say it, but I put it in the description on one of my videos that I wanted to upload every every week. That was my plan, but then this drawing just took me forever, and it's just like I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna start on another one, and I didn't wanna like like ha like uh, not try my best on another one. So I decided to just wait until this drawing's finished, and then I'll just publish the video on that, and then I'll start on my next one. So I've been wanting to do a. A review on the fine tech gold watercolors I oh, those are so good so good guys um, I won't say much about them save it for the review but if you guys been following me on snapchat or Instagram you guys would know that I am in love with those and that I've been, I used them on my last mandala piece and uh, they're just so smooth and nice and yeah which is another brings me to another thing if you guys do want to see like more of like my life outside of YouTube uh, definitely follow me on my other social media they'll be in the link at the end of this video and in the description so if you guys want to do that check it out if you guys just want to see more of me that's not when I don't like upload that's that's always an option and I don't know if this is gonna be a thing but I, d I have a friend that I go to school with and I've known him for like four years his name is Caster on YouTube he's Caster 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 11 I think it is or Caster times 3 times 11 or something like that and I'll put his, uh, I'll put a link in the description to his channel too. He, he does, he isn't really serious with the, with YouTube, but, um, he does, we probably will be, I do hang out with him a lot, and then we, uh, we record videos, because he, he wants to major in film, and he just loves, we like hanging out together and recording it. We did our first, we did that for the first time the other day, and I still have the footage of, of that, and I'm gonna edit it, um, and then he's he's gonna put it on his channel so I'll put a link to that in the description if it's out if not I'll just put a link to his channel tell me what you guys want to see I know I don't have a big fan base at all really compared to 
every single other artist out there on any social media, but um, I definitely want to record me making stuff. I really miss making stuff. Like, my biggest video on this channel is me making the, um, what's it called? The Power Rangers helmet. I don't even know what that is. Like, I cleaned my, I cleaned out my room and I, like, I cleaned, I don't know where I put that. <laughs> so, but that's my, like, biggest like most popular video on this channel I kind of want to do like more of that but like not necessarily like that not necessarily Power Ranger related just like make some stuff that with my hands uh, I think it's really nice I've been thinking of a certain video that I want to make that's um I have a lot of like school notes particularly math notes I have a lot of a lot a lot from like I'm not sure if I still have them from high school but I mean the, the, my last semester I took uh, intermediate algebra and I just have so many notes from there and I'm just like, well, whenever I have a lot of something, I always think, oh, can I actually do something with this? I mean, like, I, I, I have a lot of it, so can I, like, make something with it? So I'm thinking about making an art piece with those actual notes, so, but that w I think that would take a while to make, so I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. So. Well, I think that's enough of me rambling today. I hope you guys enjoyed me drawing this. Uh, I took a while to make, but... If you guys want to see any particular content from me, just go ahead and tell me if in any of my social media, shoot me a message on Snapchat, Instagram, DM me on Twitter, whatever you guys want, or just leave a comment under the video, and I'll definitely consider it. And if I like it, I'll probably do a video on it. So I hope you guys have a good day, and bye bye